And I'll tell you one thing's been on my mind This world we live in, well it's yours and mine Let's make it brighter while we got time We are people that make it happen When we started building the Bloom Community Food Center, I really wanted to make sure that we were adding something a little bit more interesting. And I think art just makes people happy. It creates space that is really inspiring and people are inspired when they walk in. It's uplifting. The new art that we're gonna have is gonna be able to like bring people in and like make them wanna stay. It makes it more of a community center rather than just like a stop and go. You know, art should be free to everyone to be able to see, and that's a lot why I do mural work, because it's not something you have to go into a gallery to see. Public art in general really brings communities together. You know, it creates uh, unity and it gives people a home. They, they feel connected to it. So what they did is they just printed out a bunch of photos of the artist's work, and then they had the workers. They had basically everybody that, you know, was just like salt of the earth of like this organization choose. Our social service partners, they came in and voted, and then we had um, our staff, our board, we had every construction guy that built this building came and voted. What we realized was one of the murals needed to be really like locally focused, and that was where Rafael Blanco, because he's so incredible with portraits, he came two days early and we chose uh, three participants who have been with us for a long time and they did a photo shoot and then he now is painting this incredible mural with their faces on it and there have been a lot of tears. Like Mike Moore, born and raised here in Bellevue and now he is on this beautiful wall forever. Times that I've encountered with Mike, like his head has always been down. No eye contact. Really? Wow. And now, like today, like seeing his face up on the mural, he has been walking around with his head up high. Mm -hmm. And his self esteem has just been higher than what it was before. And you've really made like such a change for this man. Wow. Like, Thank you. I just want you to know the impact that we had on this man. What uh, Hunger Coalition has done for me is it's changed my life. And it's, Outlook Alive to care. In a sense, people become part of the project as well. So this is not just me. This is Mike, this is Harry, this is Denise, this is the Hunger Coalition. So I cannot take this painting home. What I take home is the experience of painting here this week. And that to me, that is the, is the most amazing thing about public art. To me, it's like you can have a bad day and how can you have a bad day when you see something like that. Significa que estoy dejando algo de mí en este lugar. I really like how the mural in the front uses participants who help the Hunger Coalition function. They're very representative of the community as well. I think it's going to take some time for people to just reconnect after COVID. And we've been doing case management car side. We've been doing it with our masks on and it's been necessary to do that, but also it's created a lot of isolation and distance. And so we haven't seen each other in a year and we have so much to catch up on. And it's amazing that now we all get to sort of come and, and break in the space together. The constant dream or wish or, or yearning for from the people that we serve was a place that they could come and gather, do things together and make an impact on their community in the way that they feel is important. And that's through building community, that's through eating together and working together and dreaming together and moving through hardship and eventually getting to a place that they feel like they can thrive. This building serves the working people of Blaine County, the people who are working three jobs. This is, is a place where people have lived and worked hard their whole lives, and they get to come here, they get to let their guard down, and they get to enjoy a space together. We want this to be a place that you want to be instead of a place that you have to be. When you see somebody walk in and they're assuming that they're just coming because they're in crisis, you can watch them shift and be reminded of who they are beyond their crisis. And that's the goal of this space. The whole first floor, indoor and out, we've created really incredible gathering space. 
because we are also breaking the mold of traditional case management. We are going to be doing case management in the garden or in the courtyard or in the cafe over a cup of tea instead of being clinical and staying in your office because what we've learned and heard from our participants is when they walk into a, an office and to a place that feels institutional, their guard goes up. And so instead, we built a campus where people can let their guard down, really talk about what's going on, and have somebody to walk side by side with them as they work through that moment. So many of the people that we meet have the majority of their lives, they have not been in crisis. And then something happens and they fall to their knees. And that is the moment that we catch. For most people, it's a very short term period. They come in, they get support, and then they move on and they're back on their feet. You are our priority and you will always leave feeling better than how you walked in. That is our goal. Cuando yo llegué a este lugar pensaban, oh, es que ahí te dan comida. Sabes lo que estoy tratando de que la gente vea que no es nomás de dar comida, sino que hay una amistad, hay personas que te pueden ayudar y es una comunidad que, que está en todo. I think people have found that after the first time, they just want to keep coming back because they make friends here and they build community here. So we hope that you join that community.